Hello one and all, my name is Tilaic and we are here again with some more Bear With Me. Now last time we suffered some sad instances with the rescue attempt of Amber as Ted uh, made his way to confront the police chief. And now with Ted gone, Amber has to face the red man and, and dive into her own thoughts and feelings in order to overcome what she has to face. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, I had just kind of cut it in half uh, for the sake of time. But we're going to jump back in and we're gonna basically face off. This is the final little shindig that we have with our little uh, fight against the red man. So I will see you in there. Oh great, another one. Just go through one of the doors, please. Find an empty spot and stay there. I'll come and check up on you later. I think you got me confused with someone else. What is this place? It's a customer support center. Wait, you're not here for the job? Where did you come from? Like, outside? Oh, look at you, Miss Outside. I don't appreciate your attitude, to be honest. I'm leaving. <sighs> Good luck with that. There's no leaving this place. What do I need to do? Aren't you the famous world traveler, Miss Outside? What do I know? I'm just a service provider. Okay, I get it. Help me, I need, ugh, customer service. Have you tried turning it on again? Turn what on? Your brain. Are you making fun of me? I'll report you. All reports are to be submitted in writing and deposited in an official complaint box. The review could take up to 10 working days. Please be patient and don't hesitate to ask for help in the meantime. And remember, we're only happy if you're happy. Whatever, what do I need to do? You have to find out something. What? There was this old man. He used to live alone in our building on Whitewater. Remember back in the city? Remember? I guess. The old I can't man remember the place his down? name though. Wasn't it Mr. Stevens? No, I don't think so. Was it Mr. Peters? No. I... Wasn't it Mr. I don't... Alright, well, uh, alright, instead of trying to either. trick me, Anyways, you just let me know that I don't know! To him. How? Ask around. I can't hold your hand. Fine, after I find out, I'm out of here. Sure. I don't know what I don't know! Oh... Hello there, how can I be of assistance? What? How is this? Where am I? It's the customer service, ma'am. What do you mean? It's me. I don't know your stupid answer. I'm trying to leave. Answer? Your stupid question about our neighbor, whatever his name was? I'm sorry, miss, but you must have me confused with someone else. Is there something I can help you with? Are you kidding me? Um, I mean, joking and kidding wasn't part of my orientation? Fine, whatever. I just want to get out of here. What is it that you want? Me? Ma'am, I don't want anything. I'm just here to help you. Listen, I don't have a lot of patience left, so let's just cut to the chase. Oh, by all means. Okay, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which one? Ugh, I can't remember his name. Okay, was there anything about him that stood out? You like he coffee? loved coffee. Every Sunday, he would drink coffee on the terrace across the street from our building. I... that's not enough him. He had a dusty blue coat. Um, I need... He had the sad... that's not help. Oh my god! I can't for the life of me remember uh. anything right now. Well, you'll have to remember something. <gasps> I can't help you otherwise. You god, the dialogue choices honestly piss me off in this game. Don't give me choices if none of them are correct. How can I pay? Hey, which one? The old man. The old man from 15. Oh yeah, that's right. 15D. What was his name? I can't remember. I... I can't remember either. I remember... I think he had a wife, miss. She would always... Remember how every time she would make them, their entire floor would smell so good? What was that smell? Can't remember. I can't... Don't worry. Yeah, that... But you said that it was room 15D, and the one over here wanted a room number. So maybe now you'll give me something I can work with. Hello there. Bam. 15D? Oh yeah, I remember now. He had a cat. Dinah, right? 
Can't remember his name, though. Weird. Oh, I've totally forgotten about Dinah. She was so cute. But yeah, that guy. I can't remember. Glad I could help. Alright, so now somebody wants a cat. It's gotta be one of these rooms I haven't been in yet. Okay, well, who wanted the cat? Did you want a cat? You're the first one. Oh, I mean, well, as if you had... There you go. He had the cutest cat named Dinah. Oh, you mean Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan, that's right! That was his name. How could I forget that? Are you satisfied with the service I provided? What? Oh, yeah. That was great. Thank you. I'm only happy if you're happy. That's kind of sad. Tell me about it. Okay, so his name is Mr. Morgan. So which one wanted a name? You gave me a room, room number, but it wasn't the answer to what you were looking for. So I'm done with this door and this door. Maybe you wanted his name? Do I have to talk to you in this world? Because there's no more information Just that I give can- up. Shut up! I won't be- Look at you. Well, your life, that's all right. Anyways, I remembered the name of our- Oh, okay, so you wanted Mr. the name. Mr. Morgan? It was, wasn't it? I remember now. He was that heavy smoker. That guy. Remember? I don't think I ever saw him without a- A cigarette. That's right. And he was really lonely. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. I can vaguely remember her, but she would bake these cinnamon cookies for the kids, remember? I guess. I remember that cinnamon smell now that you mention it. Mr. Morgan, that's right. Now you just have to find out what happened to him. All right, I'll take a stab in the dark here. I don't know. Well. All right, so we know cinnamon cookies. Hello again. No, not- Oh, that- Oh, yeah. What kind of- Cinnamon. Cinnamon. She used to make cinnamon cookies. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Those were so great. Yeah. Oh, no. What is it? I remember now. I think his wife passed away. She was sick and bedridden for some time, and one day she just- Died. That's right. Poor guy. He was heartbroken. I remember now. Yeah, such a tragedy. Well, this took a dark turn. Anyways, thank you. You were very helpful. No problem, miss. If there's anything else, please let me know. Alright, so wife died, which I surmised. Close. Oh my lord, I don't care about the door. Hi, did you find out? Um, she passed away. Oh no, what happened? She was sick. Poor guy. I bet he was devastated. I guess that's why he, what, would spend his days in that bar down the street. I guess he didn't feel so alone there. Yeah, I guess he needed to be around people. What was the name of that place? It's on the tip of my tongue. I think it was Long Gone Day, miss. Oh yeah. Anyways, thank you. See you later. Bye, miss. Don't hesitate to ask. Alright, so name of the bar. So he did smoke, but he also drank. Hey there, you. Did you remember the name of the bar? The Long Gone Day? Oh yeah, you're right. Funny name though. So, yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, after his wife died, he would spend his days there. I remember him as being a heavy smoker. After his wife died, he picked up another habit. Oh no, poor guy. Yeah, he would always come home late at night and he could barely walk. I feel so sorry for him. What happened so he to set him? The I can't remember, fire. but I have a feeling if you're hoping for a happy end, you'll be disappointed. I have to find out. I need to know what happened to him. Sure. I'll be here if... So he picked up drinking, got drunk, had a cigarette, dropped the cigarette. Cigarette catches the room on fire. Kills everybody else How could inside. you say that? Um, say about our... I didn't... He was, I guess, so... It really... He had a bit of a drinking problem. Oh, that's right. It all started after his wife passed away. He would spend his days in that dive bar down the street. What was the name? The Long Gone Day. Long Gone Day, that's it. Oh, what is it? I remember now. So what happened to him? He, I'm sorry to say this, but well, he died. Wait, really? Poor guy. What happened? There was this accident and I think it's best if you talk to my supervisor about that. Are you kidding? Tell me. He came home one night and he was drunk. I remember hearing about it somewhere. Apparently he fell asleep with a cigarette 
and his apartment. Oh no. His apartment caught on fire. The fire department couldn't do nothing about it. They were too late. That's terrible. Such a tragedy. How come I don't remember any of that? I really don't know. But please, miss, talk to our supervisor. She might be able to help you remember. Fine, I'll talk to her. She's not exactly the nicest. She can be difficult, but you have to understand she's been here the longest. Okay, I'll go and talk to her. Thank you, by the way. You were very helpful. Glad I could help, miss. Such a sad story. It really is. Poor dude. Guess we get this out of the way. Oh, Although Miss Outside. Did you find out what happened? I did. So, what happened? He... He died. He fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment burnt down. Sadly, that's right. Why did you make me do this? It's for your own good. It doesn't feel good. Not all good things feel that way. I can't... Listen, isn't it a bit strange you forgot all about that? It's very strange. You think I forgot on purpose? No one can forget that's on purpose. That's why the red man kept you burning things down. You forgot because it was easier. It just happened. So, what now? Do I need to find something else for you, or...? Hey, Doc. Oh, What's okay, going bye. on? Did you... Hey, where'd you go? What just happened? Oh, bye bye now. Demotivational poster. Just give up, kitty. Aw. I hadn't noticed it, but these exit signs were pointing to the first door I was supposed to go into. The one that gave me a 15B. That's sad, but that's why the red bag keeps burning things down. <gasps> Yeah, needles suck. This, this is our old apartment. Is someone here? Mom? Dad? Flint? Home at last. I don't think I need anything out of the kitchen or anything just going into Flint's room mom what does this mean where is Flint where is he Mom, Dad, what's going on? No! Flint! Go get him! Why are you standing here? They were wearing red fireman's outfits and the scrap of cloth I got off of his elbow. And so the red men were the firemen. Did she actually try to run inside? A 
made the game go away. Ooh, I can't save here. Sword or cloth? Use the cloth, I guess. You want it back. This piece of you, don't you? And then I wait for her? To give it back? I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. All I know is that I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding that maybe, I don't know, that maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way, I got lost in my own fantasy and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness, so there's no point in trying. The only way to get over something is just to face it head on. I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost Ted too that I got the strength to stand up to him. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. All I have to do is push through and happiness will find me again. I need to get some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. Well, that's nice. Look at all the color. God. That was good. I like that. The overall story in this game was really, really good. Uh, some of the mechanics of the game and how it was put together was a little uh, iffy, you know. I, I don't fault the puzzles for being hard, because that's, that's literally what type of game this is. It's a point-and-click puzzle solving thing you know if all the puzzles are easy then it's it's dumb um, I do believe that like you need to include clues you should be able to figure out how to solve a puzzle pretty easily like something should be guiding you towards the solution it doesn't have to be obvious but it should be little hints you know and this game did a pretty good job like 90% of the time of including something that would indicate where a puzzle needs to be solved. Like those doors is an example. What I didn't realize until the very end was that there were two exit signs pointing at the first door that you were supposed to go into. 
me trying to just rush into everything not knowing exactly what was going on, I didn't realize that that was what was happening. I don't play very many point-and-click adventure games, um, so the mindset is different. I'm used to, like, a quick action RPG where it, the answer to the problem is art, th there's a compass that's going to point you to it, you know? Uh, so this game did do a good job. Once I solved a puzzle, it made a lot more sense afterwards. Um, what I didn't like was the dialogue puzzles in the sense of like, you don't have the answer. So here's three filler answers and a none of the above. And you're like, oh, well, there's all these options. It's got to be maybe this one or that one. Like, I don't know, but maybe the game knows, but then it's wrong. The whole, like all of the time, you just waste a bunch of time sitting through a bunch of dialogue that you, you're getting tired of or whatever. So it's just kind of irritating because then you're, you're like, all right, I didn't need to click on any of these. I, so I have to do something somewhere else. And this is all completely pointless. It's nice, uh, you know, you get a little bit of banter out of some of them, but most of them are just filler, you know? And you don't want to sit there going through that. So the, so the dialogue was a little iffy, but uh, for the most part, the rest of the game was is very well put together. Um... Overall, I think it was good. I think this is a really good, uh, if I had to grade it, and again, don't take my word for it because I don't play a lot of point and click adventure games, but of the ones I have played and have seen, I would say that this is like a mid-level difficulty. It's not the easiest, but it's definitely not the hardest. Uh, I'd say it's like a mid-level uh, difficulty for like point and click puzzles, um, which is pretty good, so you know you got to gauge yourself obviously if you want to get into these kinds of games it's kind of like trying to get into sudoku or something you know uh you play some easy puzzles first until you understand the ins and outs of how these things are put together and then you play harder ones so from a puzzle aspect i'd say it's like medium uh as opposed to like hard or super hard or whatever uh so it's pretty good I like that a lot. I know there is a, like a spin-off of the game somewhere that I assume takes place in the past because um, I think there's another adventure with Ted and uh, Amber and um, for one of his little adventures in the in the city. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was, it was pretty good. I like the story a lot. It was really sad. Uh, it all, they did a good job of making sure that everything came together in the end. It made a lot of sense. It made a lot of sense in the end, um, why the Red Man was doing what he was doing, because he was running around burning things down. Uh, and it, it made sense to what had happened in her past. She was trying to deal with a trauma, and when people deal with trauma, they get stuck in their own brain. And he he was burning things down because it was the trauma of, of something having burned down. He was red because the firemen that were going in and out were wearing red uniforms. Um, so she was just taking like little subtle memories from the instance and it was all gleaming over into what had happened. I, I don't know if there's other endings, if you're able to twist things so that her past is different or what say you i don't know um if ted could have survived or any of those kinds of things i have no idea but uh it might be worth it to just take a look at the game maybe you can maybe use the sword on him or something and maybe it comes out differently maybe you get stuck in in your imagination land and uh you never cope with what had happened or something i don't know but all together, it was a good time. I'm glad I played this. But for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. And I will see all y'all in the next one. I just want your love, baby.